Hello, all you beautiful bloggers. This is Dan again from Novice No Longer. And in this video, I am going to show you the difference between categories and tags, because that can be a little confusing, as well as the best way to set things up for yourself when you are making your blog and every time you make a post. So let's go in under posts. If you hover over posts, you'll see that there's both categories and tags sections here. You can use these to manage your categories and tags, but I actually never go actually click these links and like go to these pages. All the category and tag management I do is all within posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new post. I'll call this Gory's tags. This post is about categories tags. Wonderful. So just a super, super brief post here. And you can go down and on the side, you'll see you have two sections. The first one here is categories. Then the other one is tags. And when I first got WordPress, I was kind of confused about how I should really structure this. And because you want to use as many words as you can. And, and your thought process is usually, okay, well, if people are searching for my blog, they might use a bunch of different keywords. They might do plural. They might do not. I want to make sure I have all my bases covered. So you just put in as many words as possible. And this is actually really, really bad form. And not only is it bad form, it'll also hurt you in search engine rankings rather than helping you. So let me show you quickly the difference between categories and tags, and then I'll show you how to get them set up. So what I'm gonna do is go to The Verge, which is a very popular tech and culture and science blog out there. And if you go up to the top here, where it says like video, reviews, tech, science, and also within tech, you can see that they have Apple, Google, Microsoft, mobile, all of these are going to be categories. So basically a category is the umbrella topic that you're going to be talking about. So when you are setting up your categories, you want them to be like overarching themes. So it could be like technology, you could have one for sports, or if it is a sports blog, you could have one for like baseball, and you could have one for basketball, but kind of the overarching uh, categories as it's called, for what each of your posts go in. And imagine it too, like you're basically sectioning off your blog, just like The Verge does here, into these different sections. By contrast, tags are going to be more like hashtags. Um, now, you definitely uh, don't use them in the same way that you would use hashtags on Twitter. Like it's not to follow along with a conversation. And if somebody clicks on one of your tags on your blog, it's not like they're going to see other people's content on the same topic who have used that. Whereas if you, if you do use tags on Tumblr, it, it will show you everybody else on Tumblr because that's more of a community. What we're doing here is building your own personal blog and these are going to be your own personal tags. Now you can use tags a lot more liberally than you use categories. I would say that it is probably best to figure out what categories you want when you're just launching and kind of add them sparingly as you need to. So for my blog on Novice No Longer, This is my latest post as of recording this video, and it says posted in podcast. Podcast is the category that this was in. So let's go into this and if I, I'll see if I can show you where the tags are. So I only used one category and I highly suggest that you use only one, maybe two if you really want to, but try to figure out what one category fits this post the most. And then, with tags, as you can see down here, I did a bunch of different things. So apps, building products, entrepreneur, journalism, so on and so forth. All of these are tags. And this is kind of where you can get things out of your head and kind of categorize, like everything, everything that you talk about in your specific post, you're going to make those as tags. Now you'll notice that I just use websites. I don't say website, web, websites, 
webs. Like I, I don't use all of those different versions of the word because search engines are smart enough to know that the plur plural form of a word is the same as the non-pluralized word. And if you just use one, search engines are going to show you for both. And not only that, when you use too many keywords and too many tags like that, it's something that's called keyword stuffing. And the search engines can recognize that and they will penalize you. Your website looks a lot more like a spam website if it has just an infinite number of tags. Rather, what you should do is really do it logically. And the reason why you want to have these is, okay, personal development. If somebody is interested in Novice No Longer and personal development, they can click on this and see every single post that has been tagged with personal development, which is a different way to kind of structure the data and the content on your blog compared to categories. So they're just two different ways to structure your content. Like I said, be a lot more kind of limited with the amount of categories that you use. And I would say that each post, try to just put it in one category versus tags. You can use as many tags as you want, but again, don't go crazy with it. Only use tags that are actually helpful and that you think would be helpful to humans, not to computers. You're not trying to game a system here, but be actually helpful to humans because search engines can recognize if something is helpful to humans and they're going to reward those people. So that's the basic overview of categories and tags. And you are going to want to use these for every single post that you make. This is all part of the process for creating a single post. And in a future video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your headline, creating your slug right here or your um, permalink, going into the content, what you should have there, as well as all of these. And I'm going to show you examples of how I set all this up and make a full post. But for now, that's basically the difference between categories and tags.